Yo, what up, what up, what up? Jeff Jones are back with another video. See the best, see the name tags. So you already know what time it is, so I'm gonna run it with y'all in a little bit. Hold on, let me go get set. So I'm gonna go ahead and record as much as I can. Um, Amazon really don't want you to record anything that happens inside the facility, but I'm gonna do my best to do it anyway. Um, as you can probably tell, I did not get a load out of there. So like I told y'all, gotta have a contingency plan. And for me, it was to Amazon up out of here. So uh, my last stop, there's only two stops. And my last stop is in uh, Baines, Baines Bridge, Georgia is pretty good I can get to wherever I need to be after that um, but I get back to y'all I get back to y'all as soon as I can All right, y'all, so I just fully loaded up the truck. Well, it's not a full truck, it's less than a half truck. Uh, that's everything that's going with me tonight. And uh, I'm a, the easiest load that I've had with Amazon, less than a half truck full, it took me less than 10, 15 minutes to do. Uh, but now I'm about to go get checked out and I'll see y'all on the road. So I made it to my first drop off in Havana, Florida. And as you can see, no one is here. The post office is closed. It's 2.45 in the morning. So basically it has to take everything off the truck using a lift gate and put it in this container. Uh, only reason why I know that is because the first time I ever ran Amazon Relay, uh, that's what they told me to do was a whole situation. But now I know, so I'm about to go ahead and scan all these documents. That's my professional side trying to come out. I'm gonna go ahead and scan uh, all these packages, these pallets and whatnot, and, um, and uh, unload it and I'll get back with y'all. Did y'all hear that? I don't know what's out there in them woods, but this might be a good time to tell y'all that if you're able to, you should probably conceal carry. Conceal carry because you just never know.
All right, y'all. Let's get the hell out of here because it's kind of creepy. Uh, I don't know what. They got going on. I don't know what they got going on in Havana, Florida, but let's get the hell out of here. Next stop, Bainbridge, Georgia. See y'all on the road. y'all so i've made it made it to bainbridge georgia uh it's about 30 minutes from havana florida so uh, I'm, here. I'm here and it's like uh 3 20 in the morning um i don't think anybody's here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wait i'm gonna scan everything and i'm gonna wait until about four um, usually that's when most uh most of them usually get to the post office. I don't know if that's the case here or not, but I'll wait for a little while before I just leave it. Um, I could just leave it. And sometimes they tell you to just leave it or not. So I'm, I'm just gonna play it by ear and see what happens at four. But in the meantime, I'm gonna scan everything that I have on the truck. And then uh, I get back to y'all when I'm finished. All right, y'all. So while I wait, I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, for those of you who watched the last video, you guys know that I am on the road. I'm OTR, but I'm on the road to 7K uh, for the week. And um, previous load brought me to Clearwater, Florida, and um, my dispatcher was not able to lock in that load. So of course, the contingency plan was to do Amazon Relay. Now, y'all know how much I love Amazon Relay, right? For those of you who have been here since day one, y'all know how I hate Amazon Relay. But this load actually wasn't bad at all. Um, it was really simple. Um, it wasn't even a full truck. I was able to load it up within like 15 minutes. Um, the drive was easy, no problems there. Uh, got to the first location, got a little spooky because um, it was in the middle of nowhere and I kept on hearing noises. Uh, so, you know, like I said, you know, you gotta protect yourself, conceal carry if you can. Uh, I conceal carry, so I suggest that you do. It's getting kind of spooky out here in 2022, so um, the world is changing, so you gotta protect yourself. But anyway, um, it wouldn't be Amazon if something didn't go wrong, right? So I'm here at my last drop off and nobody is here, which is fine. You know, usually that happens. The only thing is this location um, doesn't have anywhere for me to safely leave any of the, uh, the pallets and stuff like that so I'm kind of forced to uh to wait around for them or to run the risk of leaving it and then either them snitching or somebody stealing something and it you know falls back on me so <clears throat> again you know it wouldn't be amazon if something didn't go wrong uh this load actually wouldn't be that bad um if this was a local load like if i lived in the area um I wish they had loads like this in New Orleans or Houston. If they had loads like this in New Orleans, um, I'd be all right. You know, I wouldn't have to be OTR uh, all the time because this load was paying $275 uh, a mile. And it was like, I forget the exact number. I think it was like two, I don't know. I'm at the, uh, I forget the exact miles, but uh, it was paying $275 a mile. I'll go ahead and uh, insert it here somewhere so you can see um, but you know if you include my deadhead uh, this is pretty much just gas money to get me out of where I was and also for the load that I'm gonna take later today today is Friday so um, 
prayerfully, I will get a long haul over the weekend uh, that will put me over $7,000. Um, this load, you know, has gotten me closer, so I'm not really tripping. Um, it would have been great to make another $1,000 uh, today or yesterday. Today, um, it's, it's 3 o'clock, almost 4 o'clock in the morning, y'all. But it would have been great to have made another $1,000, but it's not that bad. Um, and I'm still well within range to make $7,000 uh, this week. So you got to stay tuned to the next video to find out, is this $7,000 week. So also I want to say, you know, thanks. I appreciate everybody who subscribed. I, I really do appreciate everybody who supports me. Uh, I think it's dope. Um, I love to collaborate. Uh, when y'all see me, you know, out in public or whatever, you know, don't run up on me. Do not run up on me, but come holler at me, you know, we could chop it up, we could talk and, uh, you know, exchange info or whatever. But, uh, also, if you're new to the channel uh, and you made it this far in the video, please like and subscribe. It really does help grow the channel and it actually really does mean a lot to me. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.